Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Chris Tales. Last time we left off, we've successfully gotten like a cure now. Wait, is it actually listed in here? I don't know. Yeah, prototype cure. So we've got to go use this on Christopher. And hopefully it doesn't murder him because uh, Volcano and Galley said uh, if something bad happens to it, then we like all die. If he if he gets cured, then, then maybe things will go well. If things will go well, but we'll see. Let's just go in here and see. Oh wait, it's not there. It's this house over here. Yeah, yeah, like uh, uh, Zess's little hideout or whatever, with that other character that was watching after Christopher. We haven't actually repaired the future of this place yet. Um, interestingly enough, I was gonna switch, but. Matthias is all the way down there. It's so weird that Matthias doesn't just teleport to keep up with you. It's so weird that he actually does hop in the environment. Uh, well, how we found it! We found the cure! Let's give it to Christopher quickly! It's just a prototype, but I think it'll work. I... I... I, I screwed up. I didn't... I, I thought that... I was like... I talked to Wilhelm, and I was like, Oh, wait, we probably gotta talk to the other character. Wilhelm's just gonna talk about swapping the party. But no, we did have to talk to Wilhelm. Yes, best boy's back. Christopher, the elemental mage joins the party. Yes. What? What happened? You almost died. I mean, you were mostly dead, like eighty percent, maybe eighty-five percent. But you're not dead. I mean, so you're not dead. Uh, for now, I mean, I guess you will be eventually, and probably in some really horrible way, from what I've seen. Blah. But still, yay for you! Christopher, you're okay. You have no idea how relieved we all are. It's good to see you back in shape. Christopher, I was more than 50% confident in your recovery. Almost 51%, in fact. However, your mentor appeared highly concerned for your safety. My mentor? Wait. You mean... Enough! K's sensors are obviously malfunctioning due to the commotion. It's obvious he doesn't. No. Incorrect. I have perfect recollection of the... Commotion! Which led to your obvious and unfortunate malfunction. No time to discuss it. We should leave immediately. What's the rush, maestro? What? No! Enough, you two. We've got to get back to Volcano and Galley and tell them the cure was a success. Let's go. Wait, wait what? Wait, we're friends with them now? How long have I been out? <laughs> yeah, that would be very confusing. It's a long story. We'll explain it to you later. Yeah, yeah, that'll be fine. Oh, wait, are you going to teleport me over there? Nice. Uh, let me switch the party, though, because, um, yeah, Zass, uh, later is, uh, really all I got to say to that. Um, so, hello, Christopher. Level 19 Christopher, which is unfortunate. Um, that you are just a straight up lower level now, but what can you do? So you already have the ring, which, yeah, now we realize didn't actually raise your stats at all. Wait, why? Why are your stats so low? Wait, what? Your stats are painfully low. Why? What happened? Let's see. What, 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 were your stats always this low? Were they always this low? Let's unequip that. Okay, that actually raises your... Huh. Huh. Yeah, your, your magic is only 73. Um... Dude, does this actually, no, that doesn't actually raise your... Magic. I mean, that's supposed to raise your magic stat, but it doesn't. Yeah, you're weird. Very weird. Um, I think I will put this on just because it's a boost to fire-based attacks. But I could have sworn you did more damage, right? What happened? Yeah, you're getting 24 magic attack from that, but like... What do you have on that's... 
Is it this? Oh, that's what's making, yeah, that stuff so high for you. I should get those for, um, Chris as well. Sapphire ring, slightly boosts attack. So wait, yeah, what we're learning now is if you want to boost your magic attack stat, you also have, you have to boost your attack stat. So anything that says it boosts magic attack doesn't actually boost magic attack. But if I give you something that boosts your attack, it does actually increase your magic attack, which is... God, it's weird. It's very weird. So, yeah, we need to go get you some stuff, Christopher. And that's actually why Chris Bell's magic attack stat is so damn high, because I've raised your attack stats so much. What do you have actually on? You have steel wrist guards. Yeah, it's, it says boost defense and magic attack, but it doesn't actually. Uh, I'm gonna unequip that from you, and we are gonna give you the steel wrist guards, because I just want the extra defense, basically. Um, and that lowers your stuff a lot, but if we give this to you, bam! 98 attack and magic attack. Um, cover 8% of max HP. I do need to get better boots for you. You're using the clarity signet already, and yeah. Um, funnily enough, this is actually the one that would raise your magic attack. But, uh, I think we're gonna stick with this one. It's, god, it's so weird working around the various issues in this. Uh, I guess you're also a lower level than everyone else, although that's not gonna influence your magic stat that much, I think. But, uh, I just wanna leave and go hit the shop really quickly because I don't know what's actually going to happen. When we talk to Volcano and Galley, like, what if a boss fight pops up or something? I just want to play it safe, so I'm gonna go... ...get some stuff for Chris. Um... Cause I think I should... Welcome, ...have welcome. enough stuff to sell... ...that I could buy Christopher some of the things I want. I think I'm gonna sell the second one of these that I got. I just don't really think I need it. Um... Sell for... Okay, it didn't... Oh, wait, did I just sell both of them? I mean, they just give 20 defense. Who gives a damn? Honestly. Uh... I have two of those. I decided I'd keep that. Um... Let's see here. Uh, we have a ton of these. Which I don't need that many. One more. There we go. We'll keep... No, we'll keep five. There we go. 51,000 marbles. Now we can get some good shit. So... Wait. Wait, these might actually be amazing. These might actually be amazing because it increases your attack by 70, right? It increases your attack by 70. So wouldn't that increase your magic attack by 72? And magic attack loss isn't actually a thing. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. We're- we're gonna experiment. If I wear these sandals that are supposed to be for berserkers... Yes! That's so stupid! <laughs> That's so dumb. Look at his magic attack now! Ah, and his attack stat. That's so dumb. That is so stupid. So that's the sorcerer sandals I actually wanted. I actually had to get the berserker ones to... That's hilarious. Okay. Okay, well that was a good get. So, um, I actually don't want to get these sabatons for you. It would increase your speed, which would be nice, but... 70 extra magic attack is just too nuts to not take. Alright, and... This doesn't really do anything super crazy. So, I don't think I really care about that. The wrist guards massively boost defense and attack. Uh, but yeah, that's just a worse version of what we've already gotten, so... These are permanent berserk status and a small boost. So, th this would be good if uh, it didn't give the permanent berserk status. That is the unfortunate bit of that. Alright, so... Welcome, welcome. Let's actually... Can we upgrade your weapon? Yes, we can. Cool. Let's go ahead and do that. Boom. 
Now your shield is maxed out and everything too. Your magic attacks, stupid. Um, JKR also has a stupid magic attack stat. And Chris Bell kind of exists to heal and give people speed buffs. So we're good, cool. It's still very weird. Everything that's uh, going on with the stats in this game. But hey, we've successfully navigated the maze of understanding it. And now we can just pop everything super hard. I'll be waiting for you. Don't even think of running away. But we're here to talk to you about how the thing works. Okay, maybe we have to talk to you. Christopher is safe. The cure was a success. Thank the lady. Oh, I'm so glad it worked. Volcano, Gally, are you two satisfied? Come on, Gally. Let's go. But we were supposed to. I said let's go. We can talk about it later. Okay, that was weird. So, what now? Well, we did promise Azufra we'd give him the medicine once it was completed. Guess we have to go and see Azufra now. Okay, oh, and uh, yeah, you're another side quest, cool. What about you? Nope, nothing. All these years of hard work have finally paid off. Thank you, Chris Bell and company. Uh, I can finally rest for a while. Miss Arola, are you okay? Yes, Chris Bell, it's just... What is it? How can I help you? Considering what we know of the situation in Cinder and Sinisa, there is a high chance she wishes to help the Cinderians who remain sick. Probably a good call. We like helping, although it sometimes leads to almost dying. But not always. Let us help, Arola. Your friend is right. I've been working on some additional doses of the cure. But I don't have any good way to distribute them. We can take care of that for you, Miss Arola. We've gotten pretty good at this sort of thing. Yeah, we've gotten really good at side quests. Really? Thank you so much, Chris Bell. Prototype cure. Here it is. I couldn't make much, so please try to make the most of these. Oh, we will. You can be sure of it. We've got this. It's what heroes do. Alright, so... We have to deliver them to people? Uh, give a dose of the cure to any six in Darien. So, there's a lot of them in Sinisa, right? And there's like... One here? Did Volcano and Galley actually go... Cure the Sindarian that they... Tried healing and actually turned into a goblin now that they've realized that the prototype works, or are they just going to go possibly kick the Time Empress's ass? I don't know. Uh, no, you're still sick. Mister, we have a way to cure you, and it won't kill you or turn you into something weird. I'm almost positive. Who, <gasps> who are you? That does not inspire confidence, sus. We all know there's no cure. <clears throat> The only thing that helps is the princess's medicine. That medicine isn't safe. <laughs> what are you talking about? I've seen your future. The medicine helps for a bit, but then it starts to change people. Makes them feral. Ridiculous. Why am I wasting my time listening to a child who claims to see the future? Go away. Don't I have enough to deal with? But it's true! I'm a time mage! I promise, if you'll just try this new medicine... A time mage? <laughs> and I'm a dragon. As if I would ever trust the word of a human. Nice guy. So, what do we do now? Tackle him and force it down his throat? Ask nicely? Pretend we never met him? <gasps> so many options. If he needs proof, we'll give him proof. What do you mean? I believe Wilhelm is suggesting the use of your powers to retrieve evidence of the transformation from the future. Oh, I was going to be like, we go cure all the people in Suniza and then be like, look, all those people in Suniza, we cured them. You're the only one that's still sick, idiot. Correct. Long-winded, but correct. 
Oh, wow. I didn't even think of that one. Of course, you are time mages, so maybe I did think of it. But in the future... That's an interesting perspective. And now you're just <laughs> reminding me of the idea I haven't had yet. I'm awesome. Yes, well, I guess it is my turn to help to the future. All right. What are you going to do? Like, I don't know, get a picture? I would think a scrap from his clothes would suffice. Piece of torn cloth. Perfect. Now back to Chris Bell and the others. How exactly is this going to convince him, though? Couldn't this, have, couldn't this scrap of cloth have come from anyone? Like, just any random goblin from the future? You. <gasps> Again? Sir, I believe this is yours. These are my clothes. I'd recognize my mother stitching anywhere. And they're covered in feral goblin ichor. Okay, so that's that that's the explanation. Okay, gotcha. Makes sense. Where did you get this? Who are you? We're just a group of heroes that help people. You're right, Zaz. We got it from the future, mister. Like I said, I'm a time mage. Now do you understand? I don't know. It all seems so impossible, but what do I have to lose? I guess I'll try your medicine. Yay! No more goblin. It, it's unbelievable. I can breathe again. Well, I guess no more goblin isn't the correct thing to say. It would be no more feral goblin. I'm glad we could help. Thank you, but you can't stop with just me. There are so many more people who need help. Brilliant! You've summed up the painfully obvious state of affairs quite succinctly. Which is to say, yes, we know. <laughs> we'll help as like a YouTuber responding to comments. I'm sorry to ask this, but could you talk to Jaru as well? He isn't sick, but his wife. Oh, you knew Kim? You know about his wife? Oh yeah, she came down with glass lung a while ago, then she took off. Jaru has been super sad ever since. Really sad. Like a, my wife just got a horrible deadly disease and then left, but I don't know why, sort of sad. Know what I mean? Yeah, we all know that feeling. Yes, he was devastated. She didn't want him to see her waste away. Didn't know how to say goodbye, so she left. What a cruel situation. It's wonderful that you have a cure, but it will be hard on poor Jaru. It came too late for his wife. It's fine, we can just go into the past and do it. Please, give him my condolences. Let him know. We'll make a future where there won't have to be any more like Kim. Be sure of it. We're heroes. And heroes always help those in need. Of course, I guess if we go into the past and change something that big, it would... It would change a lot, having like a whole other person just... around? This might be awkward. Oh well, let's go talk to Jaru again. I'm pretty good with awkward conversations. They happen to me a lot. Like, a whole lot. Yeah, I bet, Zess. Um... Yeah, so what, are we actually going to be like, wait, let's just go into the past and give the cure to this person then? Because that seems like it would change a lot in the current timeline. <laughs> like, a lot. It's just so weird, the idea of how that stuff works. Like, now this person is in everyone's mind when before they were, you know, they weren't, and just, I, I don't know. There's a, there's a lot that has to change. Would definitely, definitely be interested to see how this turns out. There's usually been three side quests in each area before, like, the final bout, I guess. So maybe there's another one somewhere, too. Surprise! We're back! Welcome back, Sass. I'm glad you're all doing well. What brings you to my humble doorstep? Something you need? Speaking of which, I've been meaning to ask. Were you able to create more of that medicine? Yes! That's what we came here to talk to you about! Did one of you tell him? Maybe one of you time mages hopped into the future or the past? It's hard to keep these things straight. Come on, you can tell me. Sorry, what? You were able to make more? You have? Yes, and we met one of your friends down in the square. 
He wanted us to tell you not to be so sad. That this was the first step to making sure no one else has to suffer like you have. Like Kim had to. I see. Thank you, Chris Bell. That means a lot. Kimber came down with the glass lungs so many years ago. But it still seems like it was yesterday. Have you been hanging out with time mages? Because that would explain... Zaz! Yeah, you're, you're very good at making things awkward and weird when you really shouldn't. I still remember the day she left. I wasn't even by her side when she... Well, to make matters worse, I don't even have her ring anymore. She gave it to me, you know. Her wedding ring. Yeah, so we're, we're not actually going to revive this person effectively. We're just maybe just going to go get the ring. I wanted to bury it at her grave in the cemetery, but I lost it somewhere along the way. I'm sorry. I must sound pathetic. It's great that you all have a cure, and I can't wait for you to start getting it out to everyone. For now, though, I, I just need some time alone. Mm-hmm. But what... If I go to the past, no? Okay. All right, just thought I would try. How, how do you look in the future? Oh, you're not doing so hot. You're not doing so hot in the future. Guys, could I ask you a favor? I already tried to do it. Could we please, you know, recover the ring for Jaru? It would mean the world to him. It seems Jaru is deeply troubled by the lost ring he mentioned. If we were able to retrieve it, perhaps it would alleviate his sadness somewhat. That's a wonderful idea. Interesting. That seems a bit unlike you, Kay. Are you actually learning from our actions? I am attempting to. However, given the seemingly random nature of your actions, it is quite a difficult task. Perfect. Random actions are right in my wheelhouse. Now, let's find that ring and cheer up Jaru. How are we supposed to do that again? Well, he said he lost the ring in the cemetery. Let's start by looking around there. Perhaps I can be of use again, to the cemetery. Brilliant. Name one story that started with, let's go to the cemetery, and ended with, they lived happily ever after. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I was going to say Frankenstein, but I actually don't think Frankenstein and his wife, uh, ended up happily ever after. I think it was, in fact, horrible! So, yeah, actually, I'm, I'm, I, I know for a fact it was horrible, because I've, I've reread Frankenstein recently, and also experienced the Junji Ito version of Frankenstein, which was neat. Alright, so, ring? This seems to be the ring! Graved ring. Back to the present. That's a pretty cool ring. All right, so now we just go give this to Jaru. Hello, Jaru. I have a ring. Jaru, will you marry me? Is this the ring? That, that's the ring. It's just like I remember it. It even has the engraving I wrote for her. Oh, my dear Kim, how I miss you. Even to this day, the truth is, it still hurts. I still love her, even after all these years. Jaru, please! Let us help you. It's the least we could do. Please tell us where she is, and we'll do our best to bring her back. I'm not sure, but some have tried to tell me they saw her in Sinisa. I haven't dared to look for her. Oh yeah, you're, she's not actually dead. She just left because she was sick or whatever. So we can just go get her. Please, take the ring with you. If she still loves me, I'm sure she'll accept it. You guys just got separated because of this whole thing. Don't worry, Mr. Jaru. We'll find her. All right, let's go. So now it's off to Sneeza. Sneeza. I mean, I mean, a lot of people in Sneeza are sick, right? So it's more like Sneeza, am I right? <laughs> That's not good. 
That's not good. A lot of people are sick, and this is a very serious disease. <laughs> Why did I even go for this stupid joke? Oh well. At least they're not real people. Alright, so let's go over to Zeniza, because we got a lot of sick people to cure over there. Because there was... I'm guessing that may be, um, the, the wife. Because we saw one character that was like, just leave me alone. I'm depressed, basically, at the entrance to this place. Um, so I'm guessing that's probably who we need to cure. Were, were you sick? I was so scared. Thanks for helping me. Yeah, no, not you. You're good. All right, but you. <coughs> what do you want? Please let us help you. This, this is a cure for the glass lung. Okay, you have a name, so maybe you're not it. Yes, trust us. This, this rush of energy, it is indeed a cure. Please, have this as a token for what you've done. Antimute, thank you. Uh, okay, so... Where else? There were more... Okay, wow, there's a lot of sick people here. Actually. Of course, I'm sitting here, I sit here calling it a sneeze but they don't actually sneeze, they just cough, right? Did, did, did... Christopher starts sneezing? I don't think he did when he got sick. I think it was just coughing. <coughs> what do you want? Please, let us help you. This... This is a cure for the glass lung? Yes, trust us. This... This rush of energy... It is indeed a cure. I'll rest and return to my family. Please... Have this as a token for what you've done. It's weird that you said the exact same thing as the other character, except for this part. This part's different. Why are we getting so many anti-mutes? Are you guys telling me the next boss fight's gonna be able to silence me? Are you Kimber? Aha. Who are you? What do you want? We're Jaru's friends. J Jaru? My Jaru? We found you! <coughs> Please... Just... Leave... I don't want him to see me like this... Uh, but why? He would really like to see you. Can you guys cut with, cut with this line of questioning and just be like, Yo, we have a cure to your crippling disease. That's the main reason we don't want- you don't want to see your... Husband right now. <laughs> like, why are we even wasting time? Why are we not just like, Hey, we can cure you! I'm sick. <laughs> I know I'll turn feral soon. I can't hurt him. I'm just a menace now. That's not true. You may feel like a monster, but you're far from it. Also, we have a cure. And even if you were, he still misses you. He still yearns for you. Are you... sure? If you don't believe us, take a look at this. <sighs> this... <clears throat> this is our ring. It still has the engravings he made. I guess, I guess the <clears throat> other part of this, and this is why we're having to go down this whole line of dialogue as, as well, is because we're, we're also convincing you to come back because I think you're of the impression that after so much time, Jaru doesn't care for you anymore. So we're not only being like, hey, we can cure your sickness, but also you can totally go back to your to your husband. He still loves you, even after all this time. My beloved Kimber, true love can last a lifetime. Let me prove to you, ours is the truest love. You will ever find. Jaru. <laughs> I miss you so much. My heart still beats for you. Every morning. Every
every day and every night. But I can't... I can't come back to him. Even if he still misses me, I'm still sick with the glass lung. Oh yeah, we forgot to mention that part. We like totally have a cure. That's why we're here. We have a cure right here with us. <gasps> uh, cure? Yes, Miss Kimber. We can help you get rid of the glass lung. But there are so many more that need it. Even more than I do. <laughs> Right. But I've heard the cure is difficult to make, and we need a lot of people dedicated to gathering the materials. That's a good way to put it, actually. Also, you'll bring true happiness to my friend, and that's something I've wanted to see for a long time. <sighs> well, if you say so, I'll take a shot. This feeling, it's like a surge of energy all over my body. Can it truly be the cure for the glass lung? Yep, just check me out. I was suffering from it just a while ago. I... I have to go. My dear Jaru is waiting for me. Well, just take it easy. You've just recovered from a deadly disease. We'll take you there. I... I guess you're right. Thank you, heroes. Let us all go to Jaru's house. You know, I can't help but feel like all of this could have been sped up if we had started with the cure so she didn't have to cough her way through like an entire monologue about how much she loves her husband. <laughs> Why didn't we lead with that? It just seems weird. Uh, later guys. I'm good, actually. <laughs> It's just so weird to me that we didn't lead with, with the cure. And then be like, oh yeah, you can totally go back to your husband, he still loves you and all that. But, uh... I think we're actually gonna walk out here, because we're at the 30 minute mark, so... I think I'm gonna walk out here and we'll go ahead and end this episode off and pick up on this next time, so... I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you then.